It's, yeah, it's weird. And I'm always sometimes, well, not always, sometimes impressed by artists that I follow, that I admire, and that I know that I they are super focused and super obsessed with uh, topics like sound or music. And I find out that I have uh, families and they have uh, wives and whatnot. And I'm like, when? <laughs> How can yeah. you manage to have kids if That's you're impressive. always working? That's impressive. Like Elon Musk, for example, I'm yeah. a big fan of the guy, of course. I'm a total SpaceX fanboy. Uh, but he has like, and he, he's like five sons and he already had it very, very early. And he, he just got a, got, a, got another kid. But, you know, even the, they're teenagers, I think, all five of his oh sons. Oh my God, I they didn't know that he had five. Yeah. But even early on when he wasn't that successful or when he, when he you know, he went through many ups and downs business-wise. But yeah, a lot of those people, I, I sometimes also imagine how they can, how, how they manage that. But also I can hear a lot of, you know, basically overachievers in life say, yeah. You know, outliers like work-life balance doesn't really exist. It, it's a it's a made up it's a made up concept that you shouldn't pay attention to if you want to achieve something really really high or yeah if you want to be very successful because it doesn't it doesn't exist. It's a myth. That's an interesting way of looking at it, right? Why and should yeah? Why, I think why should it also strive for that? Yeah, I think it also frees frees your mind from any other. Uh, pressure that you can give to yourself by thinking like oh my god i'm working too much i shouldn't i shouldn't i need to separate man that is so true i i wrote that down once i like to make notes for myself like mental notes you know at some at some i should do that more really it's really yeah. to to put something on paper and get it out of your head but uh yeah so i i at some point i came to the conclusion that a healthy work-life balance so so trying to constantly look for that actually was a cause of a cause of anxiety anxiety for yeah. me you know, instead of the other way around, because I thought I, well, I think you were mentioning it just now. So because I was looking for more downtime and less work, I got somewhere stuck in between and it wasn't comfortable at all. Yeah, I, I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah. totally. I, 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 yeah. So, um, and I, I guess we're not the only ones. A lot of people go through this being like, oh man, I'm, I'm just being judged. I, I, I need to stop. I need to, but yeah. if it, you're just thinking about that stuff while being with your friends and that doesn't mean that i don't enjoy being with people of course i do but sometimes you are so busy and so focused that you're like i i much rather stay here and finish this to free my mind than just force myself to get up tomorrow really early and stop now it's like but well, that doesn't work for me maybe it works for you but that's your needs not my needs <laughs>